What's the difference between iboga and ayahuasca? This is a question that I keep being asked by everyone <laughs> when I share about my work with iboga. Because a lot of people know about ayahuasca, but there's still very little people that know about iboga. And, you know, personally having experienced many times with both of these medicine, I think that one of the main difference between the iboga and the ayahuasca is how direct the experience can be. Let me explain. So I can only share about my experience, right? But having done both, I would say that the ayahuasca, its message is very much more metaphorical. It's like it talks in symbols and images and stories and it's it's really it's it's like you get all of these things and all of these pieces here and there and then at least for me it's usually later on that you start to find like what the the message ultimately the underlying truth of the medicine was and so it shares with you in a bit of a, a cryptic way i guess you can say and but it also allows you to explore and to go like out there. If you look even at the, the, the physiology of it, ayahuasca, it's a vine. It's like it extends out there and it's a, it's a mix with a vine in it and leaves, right? So it's like at the top, but the, it's reaching out. And iboga, on the other hand, is a root. And so it goes straight to the root of what's going on. And, and as such, you could say that it's very much grounded. And so the way that this takes form in a ceremony with Iboga is that usually for most people, they find out that the message is very direct, is very like in your face. Like this is why you are the way you are. This is what you can do to fix things up if you, show, if you so desire. And so this approach is definitely, you can say a more intense version. Um, and for some people like me, that's what we need. <laughs> at least that's what I needed at the time uh, when I initially partook in my first Iboga ceremony. Because what happens is that sometimes we get so caught up in our minds and if we get shown bits and pieces here and there, it's easy for us to kind of try to use our minds to come up with an explanation and then it's not really it's not necessarily the message of the medicine itself, but more our interpretation of it. And personally, that's why I, as, as much as I love ayahuasca and I'm deeply grateful for the experiences that I've had with it, I can say that the moment I did Iboga, it was like, whoa, this is another level of medicine. This is the thing that was missing in my life this entire time. This is the thing that showed me the truth about my situation, how to overcome it. And it did all of that right between the first ceremony, right bang, ding, dong. It's like no doubt in my mind that this was what was going on. And so I'm, I'm definitely, I have so much resonance with Iboga and its way of doing things. And since then serving with hundreds of people, I've found that this is true time and time and time again. It's like Iboga just takes you where you're at, shows you where that is, which honestly for a lot of us can be a very humbling experience because, yeah, <laughs> sometimes we have what's called a spiritual ego where we think we're on this high horse of spirituality and everything is like perfect and all that, but then we're, we're, we're lying to ourselves, And Iboga shows us right there and like, bam, this is why, this is what's going on and it can be very challenging and so that's why I say it and I say it again and again and again the preparation work for Iboga is crucial is crucial and here at the Transcend with Iboga retreat we do the preparation in different phases there's a before phase with a guide of two weeks of preparation of how to get into a space where you can welcome these more challenging or traumatic experiences within you uh, easily and through self-love. 
And then during the retreat itself, we do many, many experiences of somatic releases. We get answers to our question. We get clarity with Beyond Quantum Healing sessions. We get sound healing to soothe the nervous system. And all of that prepares for the ceremony and allows us to tap into even deeper layers of the experience with this medicine. And so, yeah, check out the website if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with me and get free this discovery call. And we can see if this uh, retreat is something that you resonate with and if it's a good fit. And so much love to you. Thank you for being you. And I will see you around. Bye-bye for now.